Let's look at another example of using the four-step process to find the derivative of a function. This one's a little bit more complicated than the last one that I did, but it's not too terribly tricky, so we'll walk our way through it. So just as a reminder, the four-step process to find a derivative, the first thing we're going to do is have to find f of x plus h, then we'll find f of x plus h minus f of x, then we'll divide that all by h, and then we'll take the limit as h approaches zero of everything that we just found. So starting with this function, f of x equals x squared plus 8x minus 2. So for my step one, I need to find f of x plus h. So everywhere there's an x in my original function, instead I'm going to put x plus h. So I have x plus h squared plus 8x plus h minus 2. And I'm going to want to expand this x plus h squared and expand the 8x, 8 times x plus h so that I can simplify things later on. So x plus h squared, that's x plus h times x plus h. When I expand this, I'm going to get, oops, that's kind of sloppy looking. When I expand that, I'm going to get 8x plus 8h minus 2. And so if we FOIL this x plus h squared, I'm going to get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 8x plus 8h minus 2. And so that's as expanded as that's going to get. So for step 2, I'm going to do f of x plus h minus f of x. But that's just everything that we just found. That's that f of x plus h. So I'm just going to write that x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 8x plus 8h minus 2. And then I'm going to subtract the original function, making sure to put it in parentheses because this minus sign is going to have to distribute. So I'm just going to take the original function x squared plus 8x minus 2. So let's distribute that minus sign and uh, cancel any, anything that we can cancel. So I've got x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 8x plus 8h minus 2. Now this minus sign distributing, I've got negative x squared minus 8x and then minus times a minus, that's going to be a plus 2. So let's go through here and see what all cancels, and hopefully a bunch of it does. If we're doing this right, a bunch will cancel. So I have x squared minus x squared. Those are going to cancel each other out. I've got, let's see what, I've got an 8x and a minus 8x, so those cancel each other out. I've got, what else, minus 2 plus 2. Those cancel each other out. So what does that leave me with? That leaves me with... Um, oops, not x squared. It leaves me with 2xh plus h squared plus 8h. Everything else went away when we did all of that. Okay, so then we move on to step 3. Step 3 is to take our answer from step 2, that f of x plus h minus f of x that we just found, and divide that by h. Well, this is what we just found, 2xh plus h squared plus 8h divided by h. So I'm going to be able to cancel an h from everything on top. So I'm going to get 2x plus h, this h squared divided by h is just a single h, plus 8, that's all that's left over when I divide 8h by h. So now the last thing that I need to do is take the limit as h approaches 0 of what we just found, this f of x plus h minus f of x over h, but that's just this little piece right here. So it's the limit as h approaches 0 of 2x plus h plus 8. So I'm just going to, when I take the limit, limit to a number, I'm just going to plug 0 in for any h's here. So I'm going to get 2x plus 0 plus 8, and that simplifies to 2x plus 8. And so we get, using the four-step process, that the derivative of this original function, um, x squared plus 8x, is actually just 2x plus 8. And so let's walk through it again really quickly to make sure that we understand what happened. Using our four-step process, we plugged x plus h in for each of the x's in the original function. 
I expanded everything out, I foiled here, and I got this x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 8x plus 8h minus 2. It's a lot of stuff. For my second step, I took this answer, this f of x plus h, and subtracted the original function from it. And I made sure to put the original function in parentheses because I need to make sure that this minus sign distributes over the whole thing. So I just copied my answer to the first step and then subtracted the original function, this x squared plus 8x minus 2. When I did that and distributed the minus sign, I was able to cancel a whole bunch of stuff, leaving me with 2xh plus h squared plus 8h. And so step 3 says, take your answer from step 2 and divide it by h. So I copied down the answer from step 2, divided by h. I was able to cancel an h from each of those terms in the numerator, leaving me with 2x plus h plus 8. And then the final step is to take the limit as h approaches 0 of what we found in step 3. So that's the limit as h approaches 0 of 2x plus h plus 8. Taking that limit, taking a limit to a number, just means plugging in the 0 for every h in the function. And that was just this one particular h, so I ended up with 2x plus 0 plus 8. And when I simplify that, I get 2x plus 8, which is the derivative of the function that we started with.